Hello and welcome. In this video, we will look at the Silver Institute's World Silver Survey Interim Report for 2014. This is the midterm report. The full report comes out each April. Let's look at the total supply and demand forecast for 2014, starting with supply. Mining supply. Supply for mining in 2014 is forecast to be about 868 million ounces. Mining supply has consistently increased every single year for over 10 years and in 2014 is expected to once again hit an all-time high. The report states that the increase in supply from mining is expected to peak in the next two to three years. Scrap supply. Supply from scrap is forecast to be about 163 million ounces, down 14% from last year and down 35% from 2012. Supply from scrap has declined three years in a row due to the drop in silver price. Producer hedging. Producer hedging for the year is forecast to have no significant impact for the year despite First Majestic's recent decision to hedge part of their supply. The report states that, quote, Hedgebook remains at low levels and hedging is not forecast to return to the market in strength, unquote. Total supply. Total silver supply is forecast to be 1.03 billion ounces. This is the fifth straight year that total supply has been over a billion ounces. The report mentions that, quote, the market will remain increasingly reliant on primary supply, unquote. Demand. Total demand in 2014 is forecast to be about 1.004 billion ounces. That's a decline of 6.7% from total demand in 2013. The report states that, quote, Total physical demand for silver is forecast to be 6.7% lower in 2014 after a weak first half for many sectors, unquote. However, looking long term, total silver demand is still strong and fairly consistent. Coin and bar demand. Coin and bar demand for 2014 is forecast to be about 192 million ounces. That's a 21% decline from 2013 coin and bar demand but it is a 39% increase from 2012 coin and bar demand. The report states that, quote, a surge in interest in the last quarter of 2014 is not enough to offset a weaker Q1 to Q3, unquote. However, the report also warns that, quote, higher coin and bar demand in Q4 and into 2015 could lead to physical shortages and higher local premiums, unquote. The statement shows how the silver just-in-time inventory supply chain can be affected by sudden changes in demand. Supply from mining is at an all-time high level, but the industry is warning that the recent surge in demand will cause temporary physical shortages and temporary increases in premiums. Silverware demand. Silverware demand for 2014 is forecast to be about 46 million ounces, a decline of about 7% from 2013 but an increase of about 5% over 2012. Silverware demand, which had been declining for years leading up to 2013, now appears to have leveled off. Jewelry demand. Jewelry demand for 2014 is forecast to be about 189 million ounces. That is a 4% decline from 2013, but overall jewelry demand is still strong. The report states that, quote, Demand for jewelry has seen a slight decline in 2014, but is forecast to rebound strongly in 2015, unquote. However, the report also states that, quote, lower price levels should continue to see increases in jewelry and silverware consumption, but these are unlikely to be price drivers, unquote. Industrial demand. Industrial demand for 2014 is forecast to be about 578 million ounces. This is the lowest level in five years and the second lowest level in at least 10 years. All forms of industrial demand are forecast to decline in 2014. So to summarize, supply increased again and is expected to continue to increase but then level off in the next two to three years. Demand dropped off some, but is still fairly strong. So that is the Silver Institute's World Silver Survey Interim Report for 2014. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.